Hello. I pray that you are well today. We continue in a series on earthly stories with heavenly meanings. And here is from Luke chapter 6. This language. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not say, and do not do what I say? For everyone who comes to me and hears my word and puts them into practice, I will show them what they are like. So in other words, God is saying there is wisdom in doing what God has said. There is wisdom in obedience. They are like a man who builds a house, dug down deep and laid the foundation on a rock. When the flood came, the torrent struck the house, but it could not shake it because it was well built. In other words, it had a clear foundation. It wasn't floating. But the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a man who builds his house on the ground without a foundation. There's nothing to rest on. The moment the torrent struck the house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. So what does that mean? It means God asks us to not just hear the word, but do it. When we, when we hear a scripture about prayer, to pray. When we hear a scripture about the value of the word, we read it. When we hear a scripture about serving one another, we do so. The logic of wisdom is not just knowing. There isn't a separation between I know and I don't do, but I do. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? The same idea is in the book of James, where it says that we look into the God's holy law and don't do what it says. It's like we look into a mirror and forget what we look like. It seems impossible for us to think about it, but oftentimes when we ask ourselves the question, what does it mean to say you believe? Do you believe means I think? To believe means I know about? To believe means I have cognitive assent? But to believe means, does believe mean I act? I will do what you have asked me to do. Everyone who comes and hears my words and puts them into practice, I will show what they are like. They're like a man who built his house on the rock. They dug down deep and laid the foundation on a rock. When the flood came, the torrent struck the house, but it could not shake it because it was well built. Let me ask you a question. Has the flood come? Has the flood come in your life? And what shakes to the foundation? When there is amazing loss, how does that work? When there's amazing difficulty, how does that occur? And it says this statement, but one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a person who built his house on the ground without a foundation. What is your foundation? What is your truth? I pray your truth is the words of Jesus, and I pray that the reality of your truth is that, in fact, you follow what he has said. Please pray with me. Lord God, we come before you on this day, and we pray that we are building our house on the foundation that does not change and does not move because it is you. And we pray that we would see the value of obedience, not obedience in order to be loved, but obedience in order to live the wisdom you have given us. Allow us not just to hear the word, but to do the word. In Jesus' name, amen. I wanna ask you two things if I could. What are you gonna to obey today? What do you know God wants you to do and you're therefore gonna do it? Not do it because you're going to tell me you've done it or do it because you're going to tell anyone else. Do it because God will know. And say, what is that possibly? Maybe it's you really haven't spent time praying and giving it to God. You really know there's someone in your life who needs you and you could be influential, but you just haven't for some reason taken the time. Maybe today is that day to take that time to pray, to take that time to reach out, to take that time to serve, to act. I wanted to thank you for all of your generosity of giving the things that so many people need. If you're gleaning stuff out of your home, we're grateful for it. If you're giving food to people who pick up food on Wednesdays, we are grateful for it. We're beginning a new ministry that is delivering meals to people. If you have people in your life that could benefit from meals, maybe they can't get out, maybe they're a, a single parent, maybe they have a fixed income, you fill in the blanks. You'll hear about this in the next months, next month, excuse me, that we would happily have your help. I pray you are well today. I pray that you build your house on the rock because the flood will come. 
God bless you.